Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video we will be going over every single necromorph across the whole Dead Space franchise including all forms and types. Also before we begin I'm happy to say that we'll be joined by a special guest co-hosting this episode. Thank you and enjoy the video. Alien Necromorph A necromorph made from the mysterious alien species once native to Tau Volantis. The torso of the creature has been split open to allow the ejection of crawlers. These variants are made from the alien's infants instead of the more common human crawlers. Boss The final necromorph faced in the mobile game. It was responsible for the overheating of the Titan Shard reactor core. It possesses four tentacles, four jaws, and a long spiked tongue. Brethren Moon, also known as Brother Moon or Blood Moon, the highest known necromorph form. They are gigantic spacefaring necromorphs and the source of the marker signal. They are the result of a convergence event. Brute. A large necromorph composed of multiple human corpses. It has heavy armour on its front and possesses extreme physical strength, making it a deadly foe in combat. Corruption An encrusting mass of necromorph tissue found wherever there has been an outbreak. While it poses no direct threat, it has been documented to remove free oxygen from the atmosphere and metabolise it into a poisonous gas in conjunction with wheezers. Crawler Formed from infants, they attack by self-detonating an explosive sac. Both human and alien variants exist. Creeper A head with tentacles coming from the neck. They can hijack dead bodies, creating a shambler, or combine with other body parts to make a divider. Cyst A stationary necromorph that excretes explosive organic pods. Divider a combination of five appendages, which form a tall, gaunt figure. They can split apart into smaller individual necromorphs that are composed of miscellaneous body parts. Enhanced Necromorphs A sub-breed of the infection which creates tougher necromorphs with a darker colour and glowing eyes. All enhanced necromorphs feature the same universal attacks and habits as the basic form, but can take more damage. Exploder a specialised necromorph form that act much like crawlers. Their most prominent feature is the large glowing pustule attached to their left arm, which is filled with an explosive organic substance. Feeder Formed from humans that have ingested necromorph infected meat, they have a skeletal appearance and are auditory based. Flyer A winged necromorph capable of flight, its main form of attack is assaulting its prey from above. Fodder, a type that retains their human form and can attack with melee weapons. When sufficient damage is inflicted upon it, tendrils will sprout from the abdominal area. Grabber, an internally mutated, non-moving body that grabs with the head and pulls the victim into the serrated spine to kill them. Guardian, this type is anchored onto a wall, with their flesh fused together with the corruption. They serve as guardians to areas important to the infestation. Hallucinations Not a physical necromorph, but instead visions implanted into the mind by the marker signal can be used to control and manipulate humans into aiding the markers. Hive Mind Massive necromorphs that are able to broadcast the marker signal from the moons to smaller necromorph variants. Hunter, a regenerated time necromorph biologically engineered by Dr. Chalice Mercer, created by inserting tissue obtained from the corruption directly into the cranium of a live crew member. It is able to regenerate any dismembered limbs. Infector, the sole purpose of the infector is to spread the necromorph contagion via its proboscis. It has a pair of wings and is capable of limited flight. Leaper, commonly seen in almost all outbreaks, its body has been modified to grant the Leaper superior mobility. It possesses a set of mandibles and a spiked tail. Leviathan, a massive necromorph encountered in the Ishimura's food storage facility. It has a massive gaping mouth surrounded by three orifices from which tentacles sprout from. Lurker, specialised for ranged attacks, they have three tentacles which fire sharp bony projectiles. 
usually seen created from a human infant, but can also result from infected dogs as found on board sovereign colony ships. Marker, not an actual necromorph type, but the originator of the signal used to create necromorphs. An original black marker will compel the victim species to reverse engineer and create more of them. These copies are the red markers. Medusa, a necromorph found exclusively in zero-g environments, thought to be based on a life form native to Tal Volantis. Nest, another type found only in zero-g environments. Once a threat is close enough, they will emerge and shoot projectiles. Nexus, a hive mind variant made from a Tal Volantis alien. Pack, a group of necromorphs created from children that attacks using overwhelming numbers. Pods, small necromorphs that guardians eject as a means of self-defense. Pregnant, named after the enormous sac extruding from their abdominal area, the contents of which are other smaller forms of necromorphs which burst out when the sac is damaged. Puka, a humanoid necromorph that spits a corrosive acid. Regenerator, a necromorph type able to regenerate lost limbs. Regenerators include hunters and ubermorphs. Shambler, a creeper head that hijacks a dead body by inserting its tendrils down the neck and manipulating the spinal cord, capable of using guns, albeit with poor aim. Slasher, the standard human necromorph, they feature a pair of elongated arms with scythe blades and can pose a great threat when in numbers. They have the most variants of all necromorphs, most of which are only cosmetic differences, However, if the human was wearing armour like a rig or security uniform, this protection remains and makes the slasher more difficult to dismember. Slug, an exceedingly large necromorph with five tentacles, the slug was blocking the blast doors on the USG Ishimura and had to be fought using one of the ship's anti-asteroid cannons. Snow Beast, a huge necromorph that appears on Tal Volantis with a crab-spider hybrid appearance. Spider, a massive necromorph encountered on the exterior of the USG Ishimura. Spitter, a slasher created from a female host. They have the added ability to spit acidic bile. Splitface, a form encountered by Michael Altman. It was described as having two heads, seven blade-like legs, a yellow and black pustule on its underside, and a body composed of human torsos. Stalker, a type that attacks by means of flanking and group tactics. They approach slowly and quietly in order to not be discovered whilst they get closer, making them harder to notice. Swarm, small spider-like creatures which attack in groups and create new necromorphs. Swarmer, tiny necromorphs composed of reanimated bits of flesh that attack in large numbers and attempt to latch onto and overwhelm prey. They can emerge from a pregnant when its sac is damaged. And for this next section, I'll hand it over to my friend Beware the Q. He has a lot of videos on science fiction and speculative evolution from books, video games and movies over on his channel, so make sure to go check him out afterwards if that interests you. Thank you Infinity Sci-Fi, lots of interesting stuff on your channel too. Tentacle Tentacles can be either stationary creatures that grab and drag prey into their lair, or part of a bigger necromorph. Tormentor A necromorph with a long, slender body and highly elongated limbs, which can be used for offence and locomotion. It also has a large, fanged mouth, with pincers on the front. Tripod A large, three-legged necromorph, composed of multiple humans. Tripod Nest, a form of the Corruption formed into a nest in order to accommodate the tripod. Twitcher, a variant of the Slasher created from hosts equipped with stasis modules which become fused with the resulting creature. The effect of the stasis module is reversed, giving them unnatural speed. Ubermorph, a unique regenerator-type necromorph encountered on Titan Station during the final moments of the outbreak. It has five eyes, leading to the belief it may be a progenitor to a hive mind. Urchin, consisting of a main body surrounded by multiple tentacles. 
It was discovered growing in one of the water purification facilities in the Ishimura's sewer system. Weezer, a stationary necromorph form which exhale poisonous gases from the huge mutated lungs which have grown outside of their bodies. And now, back to Infinity Sci-Fi for the outro. So that was every single necromorph. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like on it to help with the algorithm. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.